Okay, we're recording to the computer, and now let's go live on Facebook, and uh, let's see here. Okay, got it. We're live streamed, and uh, we're ready to go here. Hold on a second. Let me just let this thing finish what it's supposed to be doing. There we go, and it looks like we're up and running. Okay, let me just check over here to make sure that uh, that we're going out. I always like to do that because it's... Uh, uh, let me see here. Um, yep, there it is. There it is. I see me. Okay, good. Great. Okay. Hello there, everybody. Uh, welcome to our little uh, um, uh, Monday pop up, which is uh, a show we love doing because the people here are wonderful. It's nice, sweet, wonderful talk without people berating each other and getting obscene and whatever but let's let's just go with the people that are here right now we've got uh shecky rick sheckman oh there he is operation number two on rick sheckman for his cataract surgery um, yeah until the third eye grows i'm done <laughs> yeah and uh, uh there's uh there's steve bender and uh, there's ed edward Berger and len lafrisco and andrew deutsch and by the way edward i am terribly sorry yeah i got your note yeah that uh, i didn't uh, say goodbye to you last week i usually have you do the final sign off so that's you, right that's right would you do last week's sign off right now for us? <laughs> That's all, folks. Okay, that makes up for last week. Okay. Okay, but what's today for Edward? <laughs> well, I'll do the same thing at the end, and he'll edit that the end. So at the end, or, or we'll no, do today's his birthday. Oh, oh, birthday. oh, nice. It, it is his birthday. Yeah. How old are you, Edward? Seventy. Wow. Bravo. Nice. Bravo. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm jamming me. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, every now and then, my wife is cooking today. She'll be here in a second. But my wife is cooking, and, and every time it changes its uh, cooking procedure, it, it says so on my watch because it has Wi-Fi. Your oven? My oven has Wi-Fi. <laughs> so I it turned sends, that off. It sends me messages whenever it's baking or broiling or cooking or it needs it sends me the, i need cleaning yeah and then i got an email i think i told you this i got an email from my oven telling me how many minutes in the last month i baked and broiled and uh, so i don't know, sauteed or whatever and i don't like my well, I, wait I, one I, minute my, my toilet is texting me hang on a second <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I had this. I had the yeah. same thing, Alex. And yeah. I turned the damn thing off, but it has the Wi-Fi. I can do all of that. I can change the temperatures. But if the power goes out for a second, I have to reset the clock. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Now wait a minute. Shouldn't it, shouldn't it read the 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 Wi-Fi time? Really? It should, but it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. Oh, I did oh, when I when I had daylight savings time come along. I figured I wouldn't have to change the oven because the oven. Would all yeah, you have to go to the clock thing and yeah, do yeah, that. yeah. They, well, I think, I think they got so used to that and annoying people that they decided not to change the tradition. Wow, my car changed itself. My Every, car everything car changes yeah. itself. I've right. got a couple of things that don't change itself, and one of them happens to be the oven. Got a <laughs> new oven with the Wi Fi. I figure, hey, come to change, everything will be fine. No, right, no way, it's the same. How many, how many have a microwave or there's someone in your house that takes stuff out two seconds before it's over? Yeah. yeah. And then you go back to the microwave, you can't see the clock and you got to reset it before you can use it. It well, drives I, my <laughs> wife crazy. I do that all the time. <laughs> we were getting a refrigerator. We were getting a refrigerator, uh, by the way, that that also had Wi-Fi in it, but it couldn't fit in the in the uh, in the elevator. So we had to get one without Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm wondering, wondering, what does your what does your refrigerator have to say that's that important? You know, about your ice scanning. is ready. Huh? Yeah, your ice is ready. I mean, it's, or it's about it's about scanning items so it creates a shopping list. I want a refrigerator that has a scale, and if you get on the scale and you weigh too much, it won't let you open. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, but I'm telling you, I man, I just I, I just like my appliances are now ratting on me. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And and that, uh, that that I guess that the internet has been a wonderful thing, right? Your refrigerator can now send you mail. 
When, <laughs> and the most interesting mail I get is from my refrigerator. You know, I have no life at all. <laughs> you know, and your former person who lived in your apartment thought his 20 year old refrigerator was his, you know, or the stove. Well, no, we got rid of the stove and we got rid of the refrigerator. Yeah, but he, when he looked at it, he was like, he That's thought fine. it was his. Take he it. thought it was his. And I, I looked, I said, there's no similarity between yours and ours. Ours has all these digital out, you know, uh, readings and things like that. And yours didn't. Yours just said, hello. Oh, on an oven. Royal. You know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, your refrigerator didn't look this clean when you gave it to us. Okay. So, I mean, it's, it's all new, pal. I guess the old phone call you used to make is your refrigerator running. That doesn't work anymore. I guess. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. right? <laughs> you know, but I mean, I, I thought it was wonderful that he, uh, you know, that he thought that it was, it was the same. Oh, that's my oven, right? No, look at it. <laughs> you know, it has bigger knobs. It has the digital readout. It sends you mail. Does yours send your mail? Did yours ever send you a nice letter saying, hey, this month you did this and you did that. Marjorie, as you've been cooking, I've been getting it on my watch. <laughs> Are you there, Marjorie? Can you hear us, Marjorie? Marjorie can't hear us. She's connecting to audio. There we go. Can you hear us now, Marjorie? Yes. Yeah. I was saying I, I'm getting a lot of messages on the watch about what you're doing at the oven. Because the oven is ratting on you. <laughs> no, no, that's her. Could... That's her vaccination is reporting that to you. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 wish, I, I wish they were getting the daily, the the, the minute hourly update of your ailments. What? No, we didn't. We didn't get anything like that. None. Stop. Nothing. Since this little accident. Let me look at my watch. Oh. Alex's lip still has a sore, but he's covering it up with makeup today. And my lip is swollen here. And my hand is still killing me. I can't do anything with it and probably never will be able to again. Do you see the black? Let's see here. Oh, it's horrible. About an hour ago, I asked him if he could just wait 59 oh, oh, more minutes. Yeah, yeah. And he said, <laughs> no. No, but this hand still after a week, almost oh. a week, is still not enough really usable i have oh a hard time well, lifting a cup like this here. you know i hmm? need some assistance yeah but anyway and then i uh you know it's all hurting down in here and i, I hurt hurts here my he right here i think i did more than i can see actually and oh I'm my God. well that's why i said to you the other day is maybe you should go to a doctor just for the heck of it well i don't i don't want to do a bob saget See? <laughs> oh, he fell down. Nothing was wrong. A week later, he dies of a brain hemorrhage. Yeah. <laughs> you think there's more to it than that? Something seems really odd. What? About Bob Saget? Yeah. I don't know. No. No? It's like, it was, a, it was it Natasha Richardson who was spelled skiing? Yeah. And the yeah. day later was yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm beyond the time where I'll be dead from this. Yeah. yeah I, mean, could have I could have taken that fall. I Obviously, I hit my lip really hard. Well, you could have oh, my God. Here we go, go again. <laughs> Marjorie. Oh, the 80th time, Marjorie. Marjorie how, would you care, care to give us a list of your ailments? Alex, I don't By the way, you. these are nice people talking to nice people. Will you give me your fucking ailments? <laughs> <laughs> I give up. I'm no, I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to be sympathetic to your ailments. So you'd be a little bit sympathetic to mine. Oh, my God. Except you're a hypo, hypochondriac. Thank you, Shecky. Yes, but not so much that one time I'm not going to be right. That's true. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be like, what's his name on stage? Uh, uh, Dick Sean, was it? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! One, he, he, right. died on he died stage. on stage. He part of the act. He, yeah, he died on stage, mm -hmm. he, and he was he fell to the ground, and everybody laughed. <laughs> and they went, "He's not getting up." <laughs> I think he's okay. I think it's part of the bit. He's not getting up. <laughs> Shall we do anything about it? Finally, by the time they did, he was dead. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. 
So nobody believed it. I'll tell you, Andy Kaufman, when he died. Oh, I've believed. told you, I still never believed he was dead. And Morty, Bob Morton was at the funeral. And I said, did you see the body in the yeah. casket? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he, he said, yeah. In one of his last interviews with Rolling Stone, he talked about how he'd love to fake his death on television or in an accident. And everyone's, he's one of those men yeah. who people think now it's what, 30 years, well, 25, that one day he's going to show up at the comedy cellar. It, years ago, bef just before he died, um, a comedian named Monty Hoffman, who himself is also dead now, yeah. Uh, told me that he met up with uh, with uh, Andy Kaufman outside the other cafe in San Francisco. And he said, uh, how are you doing? And Andy said, I'm dying. But nobody believes. <laughs> you know, the difference wow. between Andy Kaufman's corpse and a Rolls Royce, don't you? No. What is it? <laughs> I, I don't have a Rolls Royce in my garage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, Kaufman, Kaufman Kaufman said nobody would believe he was dying. They thought it was a bit. Mm. He said, but I am. And he eventually died of whatever it was he was dying of. I can't remember now. But then Zamuda has kept Tony Clifton alive. You know, the key thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony Clifton was a character he did. Yes, Charlene. He wasn't a comedian, but didn't Howard Hughes? They say they think he faked his death or something. Am I wrong? Yeah, well, they, they 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 didn't know whether he was dead or not because, quite frankly, they had because no he was in that bunker on the top floor of whatever yeah. hotel in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. But also yeah. because they had no proof that he was actually alive. Right. right. You know. So I mean, there was always skepticism about uh, Howard Hughes. Here's the thing: um, what's his name who did the book on Howard Hughes? Uh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh God, I'm trying to remember his name now I, because I knew, I knew I knew the guy Clifford Irving. Clifford, Clifford Irving. Irving. Yeah, because I used to say, uh, you know, that we used to have a bank here called Irving Trust, and I said no, nobody trusts Irving. But anyway, yes. uh, he uh, wrote that thing in Ibiza, and he honestly believed that if he wrote a book about Howard Hughes saying this was an official interview that Howard Hughes gave to him, that he could get away with it because Howard Hughes wouldn't come forward and say it was a fake because Howard Hughes didn't talk to anybody. But mm. then he did. For that but one then he did. He did it through the telephone to a bunch of reporters, but enough that it, you know, Irving was unmasked as having done a, a terrific hoax, a really good hoax, actually. People say if you read that book, it's a great biography. Mm. Of uh, Howard Hughes, but uh, the point is that uh, he he was relying on the fact that Howard Hughes wouldn't surface to say it was a fake. Well, they've and, been saying they've been uh, saying Jackson was fake, and they're saying Elvis is fake, and yeah, it's silly. I think by now we can pretty well consider Elvis dead, don't you? Yeah, I, I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I mean. Yeah. You know, and even if he came back, you just think he was an Elvis impersonator. That's exactly right. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but it, like Shecky is probably, I think, the best Elvis impersonator ever. Oh. <laughs> it's true, yeah, though, Alex. Shecky. You look more like Elvis when they made you up than any of those Elvis impersonators. <laughs> well, well and that, yeah, and that's, Alex. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, Shecky. No, I'm saying that was, you know, Susan Hum, Candy Carell, and um, whoever else was doing makeup at that period. Yeah. Uh, and you were wearing this wig that made you. I mean, it, it, was very, it, was, it was much more convincing than any of the other Elvises. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The Jew kid from Queens who can't act to save his life. Yeah, right. And that's what made it so funny. Uh, you know? Uh, you would say all these Elvis phrases in just his shecky tone, and it was very funny. And then I found out years later they would use the same wig for Calvert when he was Roy Orbison. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'll tell you something. I uh, I and I told Shecky this on a call yesterday. Uh, the most recent thing that Dave oh. Dave's uh, uh, channel on YouTube has put up is. Um, 
Shecky uh, getting killed by Bruce Willis. <laughs> and so uh, it's expendable. Well, what happens is, is it's, it, it's uh, uh, the bit is that Bruce, uh, Bruce spends a day as an intern. Bruce Willis spends a day as an uh -huh. intern. And he does all these things like, I can't make, I don't know whether it's the red button or the black button, the red button, the black button. I don't know which one to hit. And the woman says, the red is for hot, stupid. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> things like that in the office. And finally, Shecky comes in with what, donuts? Yeah. About, yeah. Uh, some donuts, turns the corner. Or well, I'm walking by the conference room. Walking by the conference room. And Bruce Willis pulls out a gun and shoots him uh <laughs> dead right then and there and says yippee kaye shecky <laughs> yeah the thing he used to play yippee yeah. kaye, right? yippee kaye shecky. and the funny part about that is is that they then come back and bruce willis says oh by the way dave i'm sorry about shecky and dave says oh he was expendable <laughs> <laughs> Now I would. Shecky did the other eye now, right? Did he do his other yeah, eye? Yeah, it was this morning. Like, did you talk no, about? that's the same eye. It oh. just didn't get well yet. <laughs> I know. I was like, what eye was it? <laughs> yeah. Today was the right eye. Yeah. But yeah. today was better. My friend Kathy drove me in. Mm -hmm. And we parked right on the corner around from the facility. You know, you can't keep this kind of operation a secret. Because as you walk down the street and people see that cup on your eye, they go, oh, cataract surgery. Yeah, but it'll be off tomorrow afternoon. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What happens if they run out of what happens if they run out of cups? <laughs> Patch, maybe. That would be But nice. I would have thought I, I actually honestly thought it would just be like a black pirate man, you know, patch. You know, the you know No, uh, it's meant so you can see. You know, but it's yeah. meant to protect your eye because you'll probably, as you sleep tonight, maybe sleep on your face or something like that. No, but Alex, Shecky wanted the pirate one. Yeah, but you don't get the pirate one. I don't but want don't to be a pirate. <laughs> It'd be a better look. Yes, I agree. Yeah, but uh, uh, anyway, congratulations, Shecky. You now have it both eyes done, just like I do. Yes, and me. And then pretty and anyone over the age of 60, more or less, nowadays has it. Yeah. That's because you can get them, you know. Uh, but but you all. It's covered. It's mm -hmm. yeah. What? It's oh, covered. By saying it's covered, right? Yeah. 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 Looks, looks really good. Looks terrific. That's and I'll tell one. you the truth. I could take this thing off right now and not. Wouldn't be a big Probably deal. nothing would happen, but they what they're doing is they want to be safe for 20 They're covering months. their you know what. Yeah. Well, it's not so much that I think they really want it to be able and not be impacted in any way. Yeah. It's 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 so you don't touch it like when you're sleeping, is really yeah. Hard. With cataract surgery, he went in this morning, mm -hmm. he's here talking to us now. He's got the cup on his eye tomorrow morning, goes back to the doctor. The doctor takes the cup off, looks at it, says, You're wonderful. Here are the drops, take them for the next two weeks or something like that. Yeah, that's basically and, and that's it. it. In the old days when you got this operation, it it was a long operation. I think they had to put you in a hospital to do it. And then you had to sleep on these this block. Am I right? Andrew seems to be agreeing with me. They had to sleep on this block with your head in it so your head wouldn't move at night for some, like three weeks. Jeez. So that's how it's changed. I mean, you saw Shecky did one two weeks ago. Boom, boom, boom. This one, boom, boom, boom. And he's uh, good to go. You know, the laser portion of it, no joke, under a minute. Yeah. Blast the cataract. Yeah. He went and got the $400 job. $4,000. A $4,000 job? You paid $4,000 for it? Oh, with the extra lens. The extra lens, right? Yeah, and get the upgrade on the lens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I got an upgrade on the lens. It didn't cost me anything. Well, I don't know. I, I think they, had they, a two, they had a $2,000 version, a $3,000 version. I went for a $4,000 version. Okay, but let me ask you. You didn't pay $4,000. Yes, I did. What do you mean? What about Medicare? They'd only take 20%. Really? Mm. Wow. 
I don't remember that on ours, Marjorie. Do you? Well, mine was covered 100. percent I know. Yeah, but Marjorie, you also had uh, secondary insurance from the Asian. I think company. if you'd done the two thousand dollar, you get the <laughs> you get your insurance to take a Medicare would take all of it. I didn't, yes. you know, honestly, I don't care. I know. Oh. <laughs> He's he he's filthy rich anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, Medicare paid eighty percent of mine, and then yeah, me too. paid twenty. He pro they probably yeah. didn't pay forty percent of the four thousand. You get what I'm saying? They yeah. would have paid eighty percent of the two thousand. Yeah, All right. You know. No, I think they had said to me if you went for the cheapo version, it would be totally covered. Okay. Mm. You know the cheapo version which I had, I. I ha I have. It would probably have been fine. I, I have cheap. I have. More. I have cheapo cataracts now, uh, <laughs> but it, they seem to be working fine. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and the whole drive home was Kathy, my friend Kathy, explaining to me that now I'm taking I'm taking you car shopping because she didn't uh, like doors. <laughs> you know, the door that you know where you sit. You know, I was. She had to come around to the open door. He, the door he broke. You Why mean? it didn't? It, did, it didn't super glue in there. <laughs> the super glue is there, but it didn't open the door. What? Yeah, there was more going on there. Wow. Oh, could be. Could be. Well, so, so, it, 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 so uh, when you come to visit, I will get out of the car. I'll walk around and open the door from the, you know outside for you yeah well that's very nice thank you i feel more like driving miss daisy <laughs> yeah. will you yes. wear the gloves and the hat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, you know something i gotta tell you um um that's no reason to buy a new car because you don't use it have, drive much well, that's what I was saying to kathy and she's like come on again right, the, I'm right broke, now you the, have more money than god why are you you know Right now is a bad time to be buying anyway. So yeah. Well, again, you're you're stuck taking whatever color they have or whatever, you know. Yeah. And you can't. I said I want a moonroof, you know, because I have the moonroof in the car. I'm you not buying open? a new car without a moonroof. Sorry. Yeah. You, you ever open you it? Know, you know the you know the problem yeah. today. Uh, they uh, most cars that you buy, they try to make you not buy but lease. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and if you leased a car two, three years ago, and now yeah. your lease is up and you yeah. have the choice of buying it. No, you buy it and then sell it right back to the dealer. You, 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 it's you, well, it's happening with the cost of cars and everything. Right. You could not right. get a car that cheap. And secondly, if you start paying for that car, whatever the price is that you're paying, the car is going to be able to be worth more than that right now. I just did that, oh, Alex. Did you do right my lease? The lease was up on my vehicle, and it was worth twenty four thousand dollars more than. You're buyout. kidding me! Wow! Yeah. Wow! Yep. My, mine's up in November. Yep. I, 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 I bought it. I, I, I bought it off at the end of the lease and kept it because I barely drove it in COVID. I had a sixty thousand mile lease. I only drove twenty four thousand miles on the vehicle. Yeah, and, and it was worth double what the what the. What it was worth at the buyout so I had a so you buy so you buy it out then yep, you turn around it. and sell it i'm right. keeping it it's like you, a new car doesn't have any miles on it. yeah yeah okay and i like it yeah mm -hmm. but but still that's that's terrific you know that's terrific you know yeah. it's really terrific but but okay. but, but okay. If, if you if you leased a car just a few years ago uh you shouldn't you should do the buyout don't go get yeah. another car. It's going to cost you too much. And the dealer will lie to you and, and you end up, they, they tried to get me to trade it in on another vehicle. Mm -hmm. They were offering me 12,000 less than it's worth and trying to give me to pay 3,500 over sticker for a new car. Wow. You guys are nuts. Wow. Well, uh, the best thing to do is if you've got a lease, keep the car. Mm -hmm. the, 100%. It's going to be, even if you do it on, on payments, it's going to be cheaper. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But anyway, and well, uh, but I think I told you yesterday on the phone, the guy, some guy, when I was happened to me in the driveway, drives up. Do you mm -hmm. want to sell your house? Well, let me, let me <laughs> don't you want to move to Florida? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> well, how about this? We'll buy the house and you can rent it from us. Oh, jeez. Yeah. No. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, there was a thing on 60 Minutes about that, wasn't there? Like, yeah, that, that they're say, buying yeah. houses and leasing them. Well, the private yeah. equity company. Oh, yes. Yeah. That is, that's one of those private equity companies that's buying up houses and then renting them out. You know? Uh, and yeah. And I was just like, I was very, as usual, very pleasant with the guy. But it's like, no, I am not interested in selling. Even if I were to move, as you know, Alex, mm -hmm. I'm not selling know, this house. Our, uh, our real estate out here has been absolutely ridiculously nuts. They're saying in the next three months, it's going to get much worse. My house is going up. I just looked on Zillow. The last 30 days, it has gone up $108,000. Okay. So it's going up $3,500 a day. Can you look on Zillow and find out how much your house is worth? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that because I don't own yeah. a house. But yeah. we did, Marjorie does have a, con a you know a condo. Yeah. Uh, and we're thinking about it. It's, that's she, a guideline. It's not an absolute, but it's a guideline. But she's honest. thinking, she's thinking of selling it eventually. And I told her, I said, the prices are getting really good. You know? Yeah. It's, it's crazy out but here. She, she bought the thing for about 125,000 and it's worth about 400,000 right now. Mm -hmm. I paid 275 for this house. It's $1.5 million. <laughs> How much did you pay? 275. <laughs> And it's worth 1.5. Wow. And, and is it paid off? Oh, I owe a couple hundred thousand. I had to buy my ex-wife out when she moved. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Best but, money I ever spent, by the way. But nevertheless, <laughs> with that, that. Yeah. So, I mean, I that house is, you know, but the yes. trouble is, if you want to sell it and go buy another one, Right. You're going to have to pay more for the house that you're going to buy than it was a couple of years. Yeah, and that's why yeah, I'm going to buy a one bedroom in Manhattan will cost me whatever couple of million I get selling this house. So why am I selling it? Exactly. Right. Hello to Brian Neary, by the way. Brian, you turned the light on. You probably should turn it back on again because, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, there we go. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Where are you? At your office or where? Low yeah, this is my office. Uh, it's a hotel. Hotel. Oh, okay. I'm on my lunch. So you, uh, you see, so went out and got a hooker, and you. <laughs> yeah, she just. <laughs> what, what was what was Bubbles' line? Remember, he always said the most exciting, the most anxious time is when you're trying to get dressed and not wake up the hooker before you pay or something like that. <laughs> no, it, no, the biggest thrill in life, yeah, is uh, leaving a hooker without paying her. Yeah, but he, he went into he went into a little detail. Ask him next time. He went into some detail on that. And it's hilarious. He said he used to go to massage parlors at three o'clock in the morning, knocking on the door, yelling, "Are you open?" <laughs> I have cash. <laughs> yeah, are you it. open? I have cash. I have cash. <laughs> yeah. I miss those days. Those guys were so funny. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, did I tell you I fell down? Oh, no. Oh. You fell down? <laughs> you okay? Oh, Doc, what, what happened to you? <laughs> tell I was us try, again, I was trying to. I was trying to get on earlier because I was going to try to tell Shecky, ex nay on the, my friend picked me up from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a sore thing with Marjorie. No, it's not a sore thing with Marjorie. Let me tell you, Marjorie has what I call this uh, bank of <laughs> things that she can refer to that I've done that serve almost any occasion. Well, that's a major, Alex. Tiffany does the same. We start arguing and she yeah. starts mentioning something. And I'm like, are you kidding me? That was like five years ago. And I... <laughs> You know what? You, women women have a retaliation bank and men have a spank bank. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 no, but she'll never, you know, I, isn't there an expiration date on that, Marjorie? Where you, Not that one. Wait a minute, uh, Charlie, don't take her side on this. I, I'm just telling you the facts. Who's I'm your friend? You Who's facts. your friend here? Don't, don't. You not I don't want to lie to you. I mean, Charlie's right. Just listen to the facts, Alex. All right, but how many other times have you? I had to pick you up from the hospital that I did pick you up. The 
doesn't matter. That was a major, major, major. Wait thing. a minute. No, but every other time <laughs> I have picked you up from the hospital, and God knows that's been a lot of times. I don't care. Hey, sorry, time. sorry to bring it up. Let's talk sports or something. One exactly. time. <laughs> Thank you, bro. By the way, that was still, we weren't even married then, were we? I don't remember. Were we? <laughs> wait a minute. You remember, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You remember this incident like it was etched in your brain, <laughs> but you right. don't remember when it happened. No, I don't remember whether I was married or not. Okay. Which the operation anesthesia. was that? I'll tell you now. It was my spine. Your spine. I think uh, your spine was done. Hmm. Was that before or after you were using crutches? <laughs> no, because I have, if it's in Europe, uh, if it was a thing you got operated on from Europe, I would say, uh, I actually have photographs of me at the hospital with you. So it was, I had it's, the, it's the picking up part you didn't, didn't like. <laughs> Oh, well, so how's, how's well you know, Marjorie, the thing is, if I had needed him, I'll make you a bet he would have come down to the place on 80th Street today to meet me. Yes, I would have. Out. Yes, I would. Have. If needed be. No, I would yeah. do it. Yeah. No, I if I was stuck and I'd be sitting in the room with you now doing the show. Yeah. And you know yeah. why, Marjorie? Because I like him better than you. <laughs> but, but Checky doesn't hear have to hear 24 7 the complaints yeah but i hear him for at least two hours on the weekend <laughs> mine is non-stop from the time he wakes up you don't have a hiding place marjorie close the bathroom well, door at, lock at, it at three o'clock i said could you wait like 60 more minutes she should have a safe room <laughs> hey, Steve Bender to everyone. Gotta yeah. go, Tudor. Lovely yeah. to see everyone. Oh, he didn't get to say anything. No. Oh, too bad. I think, I think too bad. Huh? Well, he's got a life. And I think yeah. it wasn't it his anniversary <laughs> last week. What? Maybe I'm wrong on that. What'd you, what was his I think it was Steve's anniversary last week. Who's uh, Steve Bender's? Yeah. yeah, I believe so. Oh, hey, Steve, if you're still listening. Uh, we love you, man. You know, I'm sorry we didn't get to talk to you a lot today. Um, but uh, yeah, we're talking about very weighty, weighty stuff. No, well, no, I mean, he has to go tutor, and that's money. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. Uh, yeah. By the way, happy birthday, Edward. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, this is Edward oh, Burger's birthday. That's He's, right. Oh, He's 70 years old today. That's right. 70 years young. I, young I don't know how I made it to 70. <laughs> oh, I skipped to 20 and 65. That's right. I went from 20 right to 65. So <laughs> I, <see. laughs> I think of, I do the same thing. It kind yeah. of seems like you do. You know, I, I, yeah. at, at this point in my life, I'm looking back at my life. <laughs> and I think about all the years in my life and when things happen, I went, all that went by like a blur. You know, yeah. when yeah, I we're think cleaning about, out. Hmm? We're cleaning out the garage. Well, we since we did the construction, we had to put everything in a pod. Then we took all that stuff out and going through all the pictures and stuff. And it's like this whole era of my life is bizarre. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I I look back and I I think about all the things I've done and haven't done. So, and I'm going, how did I pack that all in? You know, and and how did I miss it? It was just going by so fast, like a blur. Your life is a blur until you get to be 82. And then all of a sudden, it's something you look back on and you go, I can't even remember when that happened. Yeah. You know? How about Tuesday? Can you How about Tuesday? Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I did, I did a thing where I, I did my entire life as, a, as a, a podcast, which I thought a lot of people would be interested in, but nobody really gives a shit. But I, I <laughs> I think several thousand people have read, have seen it over the years, uh, in which I detail methodically every year of my life. Many times I'd have to actually, believe it or not, call up bubbles and say, when did this happen when I was in San Francisco in the Bay Area? Because he has this memory that just remembers every date of everything that ever happened to him. Wow. You know, and so he could tell me 
when I went from, uh, I had forgotten when I went from uh, the Quake, which was one radio station, to KITS, and he said, oh, there was a nine-month interval there where you weren't on the air. And I didn't remember that there was a nine-month interval that I wasn't I, on the air. I thought about that th today, believe it or not. Because yeah. I remember turning the radio on the morning you were coming back on. Oh, my God, he's back. I can't believe it. And there you were signing on again after nine months. And I thought about that this morning. Isn't that odd? Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I didn't realize that that nine months had existed. Yeah, I knew there was a space. I was and Bubbles, ask. Bubbles had to remind me. Wow. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm he decided did, that you were back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he was very good. He's very good. So I had to go to people like that to kind of reconstruct my life so I could do it in order and have pretty much all the right facts. I still haven't done my final chapter yet. Uh, well, no, Marjorie's going to have to do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. no, continuing. No, continuing the. Uh, OK, I haven't done the latest chapter, which is part two of my I've got cancer. It's part three. <laughs> With which no, will be the final chapter no, which, oh, no 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 the final chapter before will be i hurt my hand <laughs> <laughs> anyway i'm going on day 47 the of the hand it's, you know. it's day 47 since i whacked off well no but anyway <laughs> Uh, I uh, I haven't done the last chapter, and I have to see my my urologist this week. So I figured I wouldn't do it. I have cancer part three till I see my urologist this week. You know, but uh, yeah, I, I'm going to do it. I've got to do it because it's kind of like I left it with one set of radiation and not the seeds happening. And that was called kind of interesting because it happened during when COVID was starting. And uh, if I I got stalled off a week, they remember they sent me home because they didn't couldn't find a part for the operation. Um, and so um, I had to go home. I came back a week later and they did the operation a week later. All those kind of operations were stopped at New York hotels, uh, hotels, hospitals, <laughs> and also the hotels, uh, the hospitals <laughs> because of COVID. So I really dodged a bullet on that one. Yeah. You know? mm. But I haven't done that that chapter yet. Did you take but Alex, tell us about your hand. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Did this you... one? <laughs> Did you take notes for all those years from the past? You know what that is, Marjorie? No, That's what one, one of those. <laughs> go, go in the kitchen and turn on your fuck you side. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> But it's it, it, uh, don't it's worry, it, no. don't worry. Next time you got something horrible happening, next time you want to be picked up at the hospital. I'm trying to change the subject. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah time did, to get. Did, did you take notes? Do you have notes from all those past years when you were doing the, the life in the passing lane? No. No, I just started with the beginning of my life and worked my way to the end. Hmm. And and I don't think there was much I left out. You know, I, 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 I was, I've been thinking about going back and a little minutiae or something on stuff, but it, it uh, the only thing is I just have to update the latest one. So everybody knows what happened up to this point. And uh, I will announce at the end of this one that if you don't hear from any more, you don't see any more of these, I'm probably dead. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, but uh I, I imagine I imagine it'll be something like falling and you know my hand causing an embolism in my brain, you know. <sighs> Alex, tell us about your hand. Oh shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is this is what I'm married to, you know. I haven't heard it enough today. Actually, <laughs> I'm a little confused, Alex. Is something going on with your hand? <laughs> well, Marjorie. Well, Marjorie has spinal issues. He's complaining about his hand. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Yes, but he's holding a cup of coffee in his dead hand. Well, it's getting better, finally. Not that better that I have to make the bed in the morning. But um... <laughs> I'm seeing nothing on breaking news on, on the screen. <laughs> well, Andrew Cuomo's brother is going to have a special on it tonight. 
Is he really? Is no. Andrew Cuomo's brother, he's not on TV. Well, he, you saw, he's asked for $120 million from CNN for and, loss of future wages. Yeah. I think, I think he has oh, a good really? chance. I, th I think he has a good chance of winning that. Wow. He will not win that. You don't think so? No. You could ask Clarence Thomas, but he's in uh, the hospital. Yeah, but he's in <laughs> the hospital at the moment. <laughs> Gee, but isn't it, uh, isn't it weird that the New York Post has had, over the weekend, three articles about his wonderful wife, and now he's in the hospital. Now he's in the hospital. Wow. Oh, the, the 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 Q people are already. Oh, you mean the, mean the accusing woman, us, accusing the wife accusing that them. was at the at the Capitol rally, rally in, um, yeah. on the sixth of yes. January. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So on you know Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there are all these articles about the woman, and the next day the guy's in quote the hospital. Did he hurt his hand? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has. He, he was diagnosed with a non-COVID infection. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway, geez, a pity I get around here. <laughs> I'm a, it, 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 I didn't. I fell what last Tuesday, right, Margaret? I, 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 it, was, it was Monday. Monday. Oh, no, no, Monday. Monday. It was Monday. Yeah. It was on Monday. this show. It was on yeah. after the just before this show. Okay, it was on the Newswire Monday. Yeah. Uh, try not to <laughs> well, I still hurt after a week. Oh, give us an update, Alex. <laughs> okay. If you really want one, I'll be happy to. Um, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> have I have I always been this way, Brian, when you and uh and uh Le, Le, Len when you listen to me on the radio? Was I a hypochondriac? Yeah, not as much. No. You were so. younger. You were young. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the comedians there. No. And the comedians talk for him. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. He's been since day one when I met him. It, it's an age thing. It's, a, it's, it's, it's what it is. That's well, what, it, Marjorie it. said it right when she said that now when she gets together with her old, old girlfriends and they're all sitting around. What did you used to talk about? You used to talk about the guys you were going out with. You used to talk yeah. about how good the yeah. sex was. You used to talk yeah. about how hot this guy was. Or you exactly. would talk about uh, uh, handbags and things like that. <laughs> now it's like, so how's your health? Ailment. Yeah. And Ailment. Well, then they list the ailments as you go around the table. And the names of doctors. Well, I got a yeah. good doctor for that, right? It's a good uh, doctors. Yeah, yeah. At our age, you know, like I had my eye surgery, the Letterman doctor did it today. <laughs> a Letterman Marjorie, doctor did Marjorie it does, today? Well, the one that all <laughs> people Letterman use is their eye doctor. Oh, okay. So, so when these doctors got somebody at your office and everybody else started going to that guy, they had a really good thing going because the whole office went, right? Yeah. 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 You know, someone would say, I have a doctor. His name is X Y Z, and then oh, I'll make an appointment. You know, well, your GP, I'm, your GP was who? Uh, was, was Lou Aroni, who was became a character on the show. You know, yeah, the Letterman <laughs> doctor, the TV doctors. I like to call him. He, what what he was is I love, you know that um, uh, these GPs, these general practitioners, are really traffic cops. You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. Oh, I my my eye hurts. Oh, I okay. Go to this eye doctor. Well, it's like when I had that one seizure at the office 20 years ago, within 10 minutes, Lou had me at the head of neurology at Weill Cornell. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So they, they, what they are who is me, By the way, who also sent me right back to the office after he looked at me, and I was back in time for the taping. <laughs> yeah, here's my doctor though. He sends me to a urologist, <clears throat> the worst guy I ever went to in my life. I mean, he just there was just something horrible and disgusting about him. I had also had a, a couple of other disgusting ones, but this was one from him. And finally, I found a good one, and I told my doctor, I said, the one you originally sent me to really sucked. This one that you sent me to is terrific. And he said, Oh, that other one sucked. He said, I'm surprised, and I'm going. Don't you know these guys, or do you just have a list of all the people that work at Mount Sinai and you're going through them? <laughs> you know? Basically, yes. It's basically the doctor's name Vinnie Boombots. Just yeah, Vinnie Boombots. 
<laughs> now, Dr. Bombay. So let's get an update <laughs> on Andrew Deutsch and what he's doing these days. He's back again today for the second week in a row, which means work is lessening up on you or something, Andrew? No, I just decided to book an hour so that nobody would bother me and put my phone on do not disturb. And oh, that's wonderful. thought I'd visit my buddies. Yeah. And yeah. since they weren't available, I came your, here. I want to find out about your hand. I want to make sure your hand's okay. It is. It is. <laughs> You know, Brian, you're not a lot of help here. <laughs> I was going to ask Marjorie if she claims you as an ailment. An ailment. <laughs> um, by, the way, an ailment. by the way, recommendation of the week, if, if you go on Netflix, this British comedian, I think it's Jimmy Carr, has an hour special. Yeah. Really, really friggin' funny. Has anybody yeah. here seen the sitcom with uh, Walensky? Uh, yeah. uh, the, uh, the the premier uh, of the of president of uh, Ukraine, <laughs> his series called Servant of the People that was his big thing where he's just an average guy who somehow becomes president of the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh, wow. it, it kind of was a pretext to him running for office, but it lasted like, what is it? Six seasons, something like that. And they have one season up so you can see him as a comic actor. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Called Servant of the People. It's on Netflix. I saw it. I didn't realize that's what it was. I'll have to. Look yeah, it. that's what it is. Um, oh. You know, that, that's really a, a perfect case of life, of art becoming life, mm -hmm. or art imitating life, or whatever. I mean, the fact that this guy played a guy becomes the Ukrainian president, and oh. uh, all of a sudden, who becomes Ukraine president? And mm -hmm. I think that that TV show had a lot to do with people voting for him. That's why he didn't, oh, yeah. didn't have a movie playing with a monkey named Bonzo. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's you know, or Jesse Ventura. He was a wrestler. I'm going to vote for him to be uh, uh, governor uh, of um, Minnesota. Yeah, but you know, when, when this happens and a comedian, a comedian becomes a president of a country, you wouldn't imagine in the time of war, a guy would come as much forward as this guy has, I mean, mm -hmm. he's, he's kind of, you know, he's a very strong leader. Mm -hmm. well, Al Franken did a beautiful job before yeah. he got screwed yeah. over. I, sure. I, always, I always, I'm, mad, I've been mad at Al Franken for years now Me for too. having quit. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yes. They were going to take it to a uh, committee. They didn't even get that far. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was that. I think Franken just said, you know, because. Oh, I don't need this. I don't need I don't this. What do I need this yeah. crap for? Exactly. Yeah. And I think I think he did say recently that he kind of feels he shouldn't have. That he yeah. feels bad now that he did. Yep. Now? Now that it's late. Well, I mean, he could run for senator again from Minnesota and probably win. <laughs> you know. Yep. Look yeah, but he barely won doing. the first time. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, but he won strong and it's the second. Yeah, I don't want to talk about Andrew politics Cuomo? particularly, but Cuomo's trying. He's Cuomo. got ads on here in New York. Got about, three ads. Yeah, here's what I did for you. Here's what they what here's what they claim I did, and I did. I made do. mistakes. I made mistakes, but I've done so much good. And because all the all the uh, the uh, charges have been dropped against him. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, but to Sean Watson, all the charges are dropped against him. You know, who's Sean Watson? He was the quarterback for the Houston, Houston. Oilers or Texans, whatever they call themselves yeah. now, yeah. and got the richest contract in the history of the NFL this week. Yeah, he's one of the best quarterbacks. Yeah, he was a good quarterback. So am I, yeah. but I don't get that kind of money. He's <laughs> getting like $45 million a year as a quarterback. Wait a minute, $45 million a year? Yep. To play a game? Yep. Except he's going to Cleveland. Good he luck. He has to throw the ball. Oh, Dang. that's the bad part. He has to live in Cleveland. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Cleveland for $45 million a year. I got good news. As, I'm, your I'm agent, I got, million a year. as your agent, I got good news. I got bad news. Well, give me the, the good news first. Well, $45 million are willing to pay. What's the bad news? It's Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> he bought yeah, the house next door to me. Also, it's all guaranteed. It's a five-year deal, guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's unheard of. Wow. Yes. 
it's completely unheard of. Meaning yeah. he will make um, 45, you know, $200 million, let's say, whatever it might be. Jeez. He could tear out his, his knee in preseason and, and <laughs> yeah. not, not up the word. You know, you and know, he still has 22 civil cases that these women have brought against him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just like the, though you you wonder though. I mean, uh, yeah, he could throw out something, not be able to play, and they got to pay him anyway. Yeah, That's right. It's guaranteed. Correct. I hope he's good for property values. Well, I wonder yeah. where I I wonder where I get a job like that. Yeah. You know, and if you're a football player, let's face it, three games in, you could be never play again. Yeah. Son of a bitch. And then Cleveland, I guess Cleveland could write it off, couldn't they? No, they gave him like three first round draft picks, you know, fifth and a third, whatever, you know. Gee, I mean, if he breaks a leg, can they shoot him? <laughs> they still have to yeah. pay the family. They still got to pay the estate, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. That's too bad. That's too bad. I, hey, uh, you know, and you want to tell me these – billionaires who own football or baseball or whatever oh we're broke no yeah. you're not you know what's amazing is that a guy who plays a game makes 45 million dollars a year and a person who teaches your son or daughter gets absolutely nothing it's yeah. 45 000. 45, 000. 45 000. yeah and when, when you think that was the one of the most valuable teacher hey how much is the game 45 million dollars a year for being the most valuable yeah. teacher okay you know, yeah. he's babysitting but it's, like, it, but it's like sports broadcasters now that are getting eighteen million dollars a year. I watch football with the sound off. Yeah, yeah. they get like eighteen million a dollars right a year now, to watch I a have guy. It on my TV while I'm talking on this thing. They get an eighteen million dollar a year fee for watching a guy run around the field who's getting forty five million. Yeah. 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 I can say Terry Bradshaw makes more in one year now as a broadcaster than he ever been his whole career with the Steelers. Yeah. But that's yeah. well, Troy Aikman, $18 million yeah. a year to for three hours to broadcast whatever football game of the week yeah. he's broadcasting. Oh, I'm dying to hear to Troy Aikman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what bothers a couple of things bother me about sports, if I may say. Uh, number one, I'm getting pissed off that 60 minutes, which is scheduled to go on at seven o'clock, uh, goes yeah. on at seven o'clock. At least if you live in the New York area, in the East Coast. And there's 11 and a half minutes left on the basketball game. Yeah, and then you got the final four, and they say seven o'clock for 60 minutes, and I didn't get on till 7:40 because of the goddamn basketball game. Yeah, but you didn't miss the football ending because Heidi had to come on. Yeah. Come back <laughs> that pissed people. I got the whole game changed after they went to Heidi. Well, they never quit a game now. They would never yeah, quit a why. game now for why. anything. No, but no, 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 they do. It's like, let's say you're watching the one o'clock game, whoever is playing whomever. And then it's now in the fourth quarter or in overtime. We have to leave this due to contractual obligations, yeah, obligations. and then put another to, go to another game though yeah and the charlie wallace game and then it's five minutes of commercial yeah. on the charlie wallace mm -hmm. game yeah well the other thing is still was still going on well what i what i was arguing with marjorie was why don't they take the final four which is on cbs okay and take it off cbs and put it on a, a paramount plus and charge for it because yeah, but it's CBS. also the final four is on like six of the C of Viacom, CBS, whatever they call themselves this week. Yeah. Like this weekend, it was a true TV. Um, I can't even remember the other channel. It was on everywhere. Yeah. Well, so why don't they say to us, if you want to watch the rest of this game, go over to true TV and then show us well, 60 minutes. God damn it. If only if you only have over the air <laughs> hella broadcasting, you can't watch those channels. Yep, CBS wants oh. to take the money. I mean, they got they got to sell the airtime. So yeah, they've sold commercials. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. 
Well, you know, and that's why I like if, the last four minutes of a basketball <laughs> game takes an hour. Yeah. Because, right. you know, we, we got a lot of timeouts here. We got to, we yep. have commercials to sell. I loved it Man. when we were watching the Olympics and, and because we were subscribing to Peacock without commercials. Whenever the commercials would come on, they put up a slide and it would be yeah. there for two minutes. You know, yeah. come on. I, I guess I'd rather watch a commercial. Mm. It, a few years back, it was 75% of the cost of cable was sports. So if you're like mm. me, who've never watched a game, we're subsidizing everybody else to watch. Mm -hmm. And then they well, came we, up with, I think it's Philo. A month or more on our cable bill for ESPN, $10 for Lifetime. Lifetime is the one you're paying 10 bucks a month for. When's the last much. time you, any of you have ever, ever watched Lifetime? Lifetime? in my lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Marjorie's a woman and she never watches Lifetime. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah. yeah. I don't watch it either, and I'm a woman. Yeah. yeah. It's bad. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, you like the best, I don't get it, you know. I mean, but anyway, so I mean, the just uh, is, I I'm when is this final four gonna be over with? Because it's really two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, you gotta play the whole tournament. Yeah. Two weeks. Really? Then next year again. It's screwed up. And you know why? Too. It's all gambling now. Yeah, of course. Listen to every commercial. Oh, it's where oh, Alex yeah. comes on and explains that I know who's the new winner is, and I'm going to tell you and bet with me. Last night, uh, we were watching the end of the basketball game. Commercial break comes on. A commercial for FanDuel, followed by a commercial for Caesars, followed by a commercial for MGM. Mm -hmm. And I'm going. What happened to the day when we sold advertising and said you will not be in the same commercial block with a competing ad? Doesn't mm. matter anymore. Doesn't matter no. anymore. You find competing products mm -hmm. back to back. Back to back. Yeah. But all of, them were these, yeah. all of them were these horrible uh, betting sites, which I think are terrible. Just you know, again, with, with Alex as my tout, what do you know about football, Alex? Nothing. I know nothing about football, but I think that the idea of having people be able to bet in any way, shape, or form on their iPhone is wrong. Yeah. It's just it's wrong. Like, because, again, let's go back to the cocaine era or whatever. Well, going. it's playing to an addiction. It's as though I could be yeah. able to buy Coke over my phone. And at the okay. bottom of the ad, it says, by the way, if you have a problem, call 1 800 yeah. XYZ. Yeah. And from one eight hundred, we don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. Give us your money first, up. and then you can. <laughs> I'll, I'll lay you. For, I'll lay you four to five. Nobody's calling that number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you have a gambling problem, call one eight hundred X Y Z. Uh huh. If you, yeah. you know, it should be. You know, you have a gambling problem if you can see this site. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, I've never. Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't. You know, we've talked, Alex. I don't mm -hmm. understand it. I, but listen, do you, you're not. You're, you're a betting man. I mean, you go to on a cruise and well, I play little, blackjack. You play blackjack. Oh, I've, I've been with you. I've been with you to Vegas. I'm not going to make the rent, as I'll I always bet call you. it. <laughs> well, I'll bet you I don't have a gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it just, it just, uh, I just see something very wrong with all of that. And it's all legal now in New York. But then again, so's pot. They're going to give out the licenses to the store now in. a lot faster than I thought, Shecky, a lot faster than you thought. And they're going to yeah, give. Yeah, well, out. let's see when they actually open the store. No, they're all supposed to open in November. That's how they're setting okay. it up. In Massachusetts, you can already buy it. Yay! Yeah. We don't even have medical marijuana in Texas. Yeah, well, we're getting it. We're getting it. Uh, and they're giving all the initial licenses, the first hundred licenses to people who were arrested and spent time in jail for marijuana. I think this is great. I thought it was really, really? Great. really? Yeah. It seems, really? it seems to me, Charlie, in a state with Ted Cruz, you guys need the marijuana. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Abbott, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, thought, I, thought here, that, I thought that was a wonderful thing because I've always complained. But the problem with uh, marijuana being legal in a lot of these states is big corporations have come in and taken over the business. And guys equity. like, for instance, in California have been doing the marijuana all these years in upstate California. Uh, we're not getting licenses and so on. And those are the very guys that should get it first. Number one, Absolutely. they know the product. 
Yeah. And, <laughs> and secondly, they were they were good businessmen at the time. Yeah. You know? So, uh, but uh, you have legalized marijuana over in Jersey, don't you, Charlene? Yes. Yes. And oh, the same thanks. thing, Alex. All the people that are coming out of prison, or I'm not coming out of prison, but you know that went to prison, mm -hmm. they're going to get a chance to get the first uh, dibs on the store ownership mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Good. It's a, that's it's a great. very good idea. I think it's very think just it's great. because for years people went away for like 20 years for pot for selling mm -hmm. pot, you know, and it was terrible. It was just terrible. So all these years of hiding from the law didn't pay off for me. Huh? No. <laughs> well, you know, they weren't, they weren't Joseph Kennedy who knew how to do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, listen, we've come to the end of our hour. Oh, Oh, I feel so bad. It's so nice when you're having fun. Yeah, when your hand hurts, Alex, you can't go over. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Shut up. Keep, yeah. Take care of that hand. Thank oh, you. Oh, and uh, so care. Oh, and, and by the way, M M Mandy on our uh, on our page says, happy birthday, Edward. Sorry I couldn't be on the call. Okay. So. Hey, Alex, the sign is off. Give yourself a round of applause. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, all cured. Oh, all cured. Oh, my paw. My paw. Oh, okay. Yeah. You've been healed. Okay. First of all, uh, thank you, Shecky. Talk to you in a couple of minutes. Uh, Len the Frisco, always nice seeing you here. Andrew, anytime you call, it's a joy. Okay. And I suddenly remember with the picture you sent me, where I was quite a bit more overweight than this. Yeah. Uh, that uh, that uh, that you were the guy that came to my studio because you asked if you could come. I, I didn't remember that. Yeah. As the yeah, I hung out with you for a whole show. Yeah. Christine. Yeah. Was it once you did it or did you do a couple of times? Once. Just once. once. Okay. Yeah. It but was I, fun. I remember it. I remember it now. But I it took that picture to, to kind of jog my memory. Yeah. yeah. You said you can sit in the studio, but shut your fucking mouth. So I did. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, did I take you out for coffee afterwards? No, cheap bastard. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to take you out. You turned me down. Uh, did you I? Had really? some, you had a meeting or something you had to go to. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I'm very important. It was very important at that time. Yeah. Charlie Wallace, thank you. I really love having you here. And I'm glad you can get here because you don't have to work when this is on. How, yeah. are, how, how are we going gonna to see you later this week? Um, at least on Wednesday. At least on Wednesday. Okay. Jeff Stein hasn't said a word all day. Say something, Jeff. My right hand hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Use your left hand. Just wait. Just wait That's till I, I haven't die been from able this. Just wait till I die from this, and you're all going to feel like crap. Uh, no, no, we're all going to say, why didn't you go see a doctor? Right. <laughs> Marjorie, uh, uh, thank you, Brian Neary. Appreciate it. Uh, he's there in a hotel room waiting for the hooker to show up. And Marjorie Miller, who claims to be my wife, but really isn't. And Charlene Martinez, who doesn't claim to be my wife and is. <laughs> and finally, now for the second time today, because you don't have to do it as a makeup next week, Edward right. Berger will sign us off by saying, That's all, folks. <laughs> happy birthday edward okay happy birthday okay and goodbye to everybody thank you so much bye-bye see you later okay